So it's crazy times. I've told people to be safe so many times. It sounds like I'm obsessed with getting people to wear condoms. <laughs> <laughs> be safe, be safe. I'm like a crazy high school health teacher just running after the kids with condoms. Like, here, take this. This one's flavored. It's not bad. Don't ask me how you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Jewish and half hillbilly. I'm a Jew billy. <laughs> my father's family is from the mountains of North Carolina, and my mother's is from 5,781 years of Jewish suffering. <laughs> but it's fun being a Jew billy. Shalom, y'all. <laughs> We've, we've got Jewish accountants who will do your taxes and hillbillies who will do your taxidermy. <laughs> I'll overwhelm you with hospitality and hypochondria. <laughs> <laughs> I take my matzo balls bacon wrapped. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I have yelled, hey y'all, watch this. But when things blow up, I also have very, very good insurance. Yeah. <laughs> I can never forgive, but I sure can forget with some moonshine or Manischewitz. Laheim, well, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that Jewish and hillbilly culture actually go together really well. They have like overlapping souls. I mean, you can hear it in the music. It's all happy, sad music, right? It's like, it's happy when it's sad. It's sad when it's happy. You've got klezmer. Have a tequila, have 10 tequila with the moonshine chaser. Oh my God. <laughs> and that's the party song, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and blues is just depression with sex appeal. I lost my job. Can't pay my rent. Oy vey, feeling verklempt. Can you go? So I'm a wandering Jew, Billy, and uh -huh. lived in Japan for a few years. And one day I was at the public bath, you know, and everybody's all naked together. And I was the only foreigner. And there's this little old lady, and she was just staring at me, just up and down. And she said, you really are white. <laughs> All over. I really felt seen. Yeah. But there's a phrase I love. Have a good day. I mean, I think it's actually, it's, it's cheesy, but I think it's really nice um, in, in a tough quarantine. And also, when you think about it, it really just sort of means don't be an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and we could swap it out, right? Like, thank you for choosing Verizon. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Here are your groceries, ma'am. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> thank you for donating to the American Cancer Society. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> so I'm dating a guy named Mike and we've been on and off for four years that's like a degree in non-commitment and <laughs> you know, right? and as a comedian I spend a lot of time with another Mike but at least this one listens to me and stays hard <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I do feel bad talking about him. I feel bad talking about him, but he's a good sport and he wants you to know that he's a good enough guy that he's okay with my talking about him in shows. Yeah. <laughs> he's just not a good enough guy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we live together, y'all. He's just in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got a ceasefire. I mean, a relationship. <laughs> and Mike and I are so different, you know? I'm talkative and social, and he's not. He's quiet. He doesn't say much. But when he does, it's really mean. 
<laughs> I mean, he does the right thing, but he says the wrong thing. Like he once drove 20 hours to see me and cheer me up because I was really feeling low. 20 hours. He even cleaned up my house for me. He's good people. But one day, I'm on, I'm going to a big audition and I was so nervous. I'm all, oh, wow, I'm getting stage fright. I'm so afraid I'm going to forget all my lines. And he goes, don't worry, babe. If you forget your lines, you won't get the part. Then you'll have nothing to memorize. <laughs> <laughs> what an ass. <laughs> Honesty, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so my southern grandma gave me some some good advice um my my granny said lancy just find yourself a man that you don't want to kill every day <laughs> you're still going to want to kill him most days honey, <laughs> but everything's <Yeah>. bad you <laughs> <laughs> those expectations low yeah grandma <laughs> But what I have with Mike, you know, there's actually a lot of love. Like, it's not a dead end relationship. It's a cul-de-sac relationship. <laughs> Is it cozy? Absolutely. Is it going nowhere? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it will be all right. I want to leave you actually with a, a love song from a different love story. So my first love I met in Japan and he was such a sweet guy, just really kind, funny. The only thing I have that's bad to say about him is he had a problem with smoking. He was a chain smoker. And I called him the 11 fingered man because he was always with a cigarette. So that summer, this beautiful song played and every time I hear it, I think of him and I wanna leave you guys with something upbeat. So let me sing it for you. Okay. Sahiko no kisu wa tabako no aji ga shita nigaku te tsunai kaori. And that means our last kiss tasted of tobacco. It had a funky flavor. Or basically a polite Japanese way of saying, kissing you is like licking an ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the past like it is, y'all. Be safe, be safe. Don't be an asshole. I'm Lindsay Lynn. <laughs> <laughs>